Hello everyone. Welcome to ITPK. Today we will learn how to enable multi-factor authentication for our user using conditional access in Azure Active Directory. For enabling multi-factor authentication via Azure Active Directory conditional access, we need at least premium P1 license or trial licenses or premium P2 license. We will also need a global administrator account to configure and deploy multi-factor authentication via Azure Conditional Access. Enabling multi-factor authentication for your organization or group of users will increase your security. An additional authentication for sign-in event will make your organization or your users more secure. Azure Active Directory multi-factor authentication and conditional access provide the flexibility of enable multi-factor authentication during specific sign-in events. In this video, we will deploy Azure Active Directory conditional access for multi-factor authentication for cloud applications. Conditional access is the recommended way to deploy multi-factor authentication. So you must be global administrator to log in to Azure Active Directory and you can use the URL portal.azure.com and as now Azure Active Directory is converted to Microsoft Intra ID. You can go to Microsoft Intra ID from here. Microsoft Intra ID. Okay. So as we will configure conditional access policy for multi-factor authentication, we have to assign that policy to someone in our tenant. So what I will do, I will go ahead and I will create a group to assign multi-factor policy. New group. Let's create the group. Right. First, I will add a single user in this group and I will test this policy on that user later on if this policy was fine we can add the remaining users into this group so let me add the name of the group ffa conditional access let's add the same description and create okay now we have created the group let's go back and set up a conditional access policy let's go to home again go to microsoft intra id and then go to i guess security after going to security we can see conditional access here let's click on conditional access so now in conditional access let's go ahead and create new policy to deploy multi-factor authentication for our users so as i came in the condition like says to create the policy and i saw this option there it looks like you are about to manage your organization security configuration that's great you must first disable security default before enabling the condition access policy so let's go ahead and disable security default first and then we will come back and create a conditional access policy here let me show you how we can disable security default i am opening again the azure portal in the azure portal again go to microsoft enter id then scroll down and go to the property section in the property section scroll down and see here your organization is protected by security default click on manage security default and it's enabled let's disable it go to disable and give them the option that my my organization is planning to use conditional access okay correct let's hit that and save yeah you want to disable it
Okay, now we have successfully disabled the security default. Let's go back to conditional access policy and refresh this page and see if if that caution is removed from the conditional access down here. Yeah, now that is removed and we have disabled the security default successfully and we will push multi-factor authentication via conditional access. Let's go ahead and name this policy CA conditional access underscore MFA underscore policy under users and group uh, if you remember we have created a group so let's add that MFA group here MFA conditional access perfect and here if you want to exclude any user you can also exclude that it's better to exclude global administrator and any other user you want that excluded you can exclude that just for your understanding let me select this user and i want to exclude this user and i want to include this group here perfect in the target resource let's go to target resources and here select what this policy applied to cloud apps user actions authentication context so here we will proceed with the cloud apps that whenever user try to sign in into any cloud apps and if that sign in is suspicious user have to provide the multi-factor authentication code for a successful login so here we have the option of all cloud apps select apps so in the select apps you can select any app here that you want to secure for example this is just for your understanding i want to secure microsoft teams and microsoft team services let's select both Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Teams Shift, I got two apps. Okay. Please note that you can select any apps that is required by your organization. And we can also exclude some of apps to just for your understanding. I will also show you we want to exclude exchange. So that use if user will log into exchange or outlook. Here I got the exchange online, right? And I want to exclude user who are going to log in into exchange outlook they will not face this multi-factor authentication challenge so I have excluded this app here that's great network option next we have the network option that control user access based on their network or physical location Configure location to apply this policy trusted or trusted location. So I want this any network or any location, right? I only want conditional access with multi-factor authentication and I don't want to configure any trusted location or the network here. So let's make it simple. I don't want to configure this the network options here. Okay. The next option is conditions. So we don't want to do anything with conditions. We will jump on access control and the and in the grant access we want that when the user will access that specific app which is added here in target resources, user have to require multi-factor authentication to be approved first so make sure you have enabled grant access from here and then you have selected require multi-factor authentication here so hit select button to save this so now at the end we have this option enable policy report only on or off if you want to see that how this policy will impact the user you can enable report only and you can also turn off this policy but here i will directly turn on this policy as i have added a group and a few users in the group to test this policy so i will turn this on and i will hit create policy 
that's it about today's simple and to the point tutorial hope this will help you in understanding conditional access policy in microsoft intra id for mfa and this help you to secure your tenant and users thanks for watching keep watching keep sharing and have your friends to subscribe this channel take care bye